Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am planning a walk from Palm Beach to Eagle Beach. And if you're wondering why you are seeing these little folks here, is because I am briefly here at the Bubali Plaza which is like a bird sanctuary. <laughs> they are probably waiting for some food, which I don't have. I didn't come prepared for it. But you can see these <laughs> wonderful little birds. What are they? I'm not sure. But I have started my walk from this side because I parked my car over there over like over in this area and what we are seeing now is the what is it the Rio Palace Big fan of your videos. thanks <laughs> and so already some viewers here so yeah there is a bird sanctuary here this is the Bubali Plus part of it, of course, with some birds up there. And let me let me stay on this side of the road, even though there's some cars coming. So we are approaching. This is a plaza. I'm not. I don't remember the name right now, but there's a like a uh, a plate over there that has the name on it and this is the Rio so this is the Rio uh, uh, what is it Rio Antillas and the Rio Palace and the difference between them is that the what is it the Rio Palace is more family oriented and this Rio Antillas is watching the cars lots of cars hold on and so this one the Rio Antillas is more adults only now I have had people ask me about this one so I'm taking a brief stop here there is some construction going on as you can see so some people have been complaining online about that part. So if you are staying here within the next couple of days, weeks, months even, check out with the hotel if uh, they are still, they will still be constructing or construction going on at that time when, when you are planning to come and stay here. There's also some construction on what used to be like a somewhat of a parking lot. I'm not all that sure why or not why, but what that is exactly. But uh, could be causing some some noises also. But this one certainly, I can certainly feel some some how do you call it some some construction noise even from here from the street side so if you're staying there not to bash the hotel or anything but it's definitely going to be like noisy definitely so we now have some maps all over the island also which really helps let me take a brief peek here so you have an idea of it of the construction And so part of this walk is, or the idea of this walk is to give people an idea of how far and how, how the walk would be exactly if you were to walk from the uh, Palm Beach area to the Eagle Beach. People have been asking me that and I've done like other videos on, on it, like with biking and stuff. 
but I wanted to do like a straight up walk to the Eagle Beach this time. Now we are approaching the butterfly farm, which is right here, very close to the Palm Beach. And I do plan to have a video on it soon, a vlog. So be pending for that. It's certainly one of my favorite places here on the island. Let me pass by these folks. Morning. Morning. <laughs> yeah, the good notice, uh, the, the last guy noticed my GoPro. I am filming today on a new camera, the new GoPro, the new GoPro 10. And I have no idea how this one is going to come out, but you guys let me know. Uh, it's very sunny and very hot, but I'm still a little bit in the shade, but let me know how you, you find it. If you think the quality is better. I'm not using a, like a gimbal anymore for the, the GoPro. I used to use it for the, the last one that I was using. And so I'm really wondering how this one is going to turn out too. Here on our right side, the DV Aruba Phoenix Resort, which is, you could say like the last high-rise hotel and, and in the, this case like uh, last high-rise in the sense that it's situated at the beach so we do have some other buildings some other high-rise high buildings that are also in coming up like uh, coming up next but those are like residents and like uh, you know like Airbnb and uh, available for rent short-term rent now there is so much I want to show you guys during this walk but I'm gonna have to choose like which ones I want to go exactly to and one of those things is this building coming up on the left side which will be the uh, what is it the uh, embassy suites Aruba that's the newest resort, newest hotel. And it will be part of, I would say, like the high rise hotels too, but not situated directly on the beach. Let me cross over here. And briefly mention that if you are looking for the pure ocean beachside dining, that's right here at the DV Phoenix. You can also access it from this side. Now, we take a like a brief stop here just to for you guys, those who are maybe interested, for you to have an idea how far the construction is and is going, how it is going. Sorry about that car making like a weird noise. 
let's see if uh, let's see boom boom oh, yeah there's something I do want to show you let me get back on this side and what I do want to show you is that as I mentioned a moment ago this hotel is not situated directly on the beach or at the beach and so this road that you see coming up here was closed for quite a few months and what they did was they built a tunnel passes under the ground and it's coming up just a second so from where you see here there's like a pathway you can end up on this side so there's there's no need for crossing the road in the future and I assume that the swimming pool and such will be situated like here it seems and also worth noting is that I do believe that this hotel will only have rooms on this side so on looking at the beach let me see if I can show you part of this one so that's that let me see if I can also briefly show you the beach that is available here pretty nice <laughs> lovely usual lovely colors okay see if I don't get my feet wet yeah let me pass over here briefly no. let me get back to the roadside So I don't know when exactly this hotel is supposed to be oh here we can see the backup um, so I don't know when it's supposed to be completely ready and I did um, talk to someone who works there like in the construction and he told me like definitely not this year like they might get close to finishing but as you know the little details take a lot of time now if you are hearing my steps now it's because i did get my shoes wet so they're gonna start sounding a little bit <laughs> there's a lot another beach that I did not exactly show you guys but there's another beach here which is the better side and to be fair the beach that we just passed was, you know like it's not bad it's not bad I don't want to pretend it's not good but it's not the best beach here at Palm Beach or Eagle Beach I don't know if they're gonna change anything this hotel has been like there's been a lot of debate and a lot of controversy because it's not supposed to have been built and a lot of controversy because of it here locally now here on this side so next to the embassy suites we do have the blue residence which can you know like also 
You could probably get them online also for rent, or like Airbnb and such. And they do have, I've never been in any of these buildings, but they do have the Infini restaurant, which I did see online and it looked really good. And, oh wow, there's a cruise ship. Oh wow, this is nice. Um, so they do have a few restaurants. I do believe that Poke Ono is also on this side. But I do think also that I saw a sign that something like they moved to the Seaport Marketplace. So I'm not sure if they're actually still here on this, this other one. Look at the cruise ship. Wow, nice. Nice, nice view. Very nice view. I will be getting a little bit closer to the, how do you call it, the beach in a moment. And this walkway, and this bikeway walkway, I bike a lot here too. Many times you can find me on the late afternoons. You can find me riding here. And it's part of the Wativas Boulevard project. Let me keep you with the cruise ship view. That's the Norwegian Dawn, I do believe. That's been here for like months and months due to the pandemic. And it does go out every, I don't know if every, I do believe it's every week now. It goes out for like a day or maybe quite a few hours. And then it comes back and docks at the same place. It's a nice looking cruise ship because it's painted on the lower side. Very nice looking cruise ship. And we do see some like oil drilling pl platforms. I don't know what they are exactly, but they, they have been like close to our shores for a long time too. They, uh, are not drilling, by the way. I'm assuming sometimes that you guys know things, but they're not drilling. They're just, let's say, uh, parked out there waiting for new projects for them to go. And uh, yeah, this other one is the Azure Beach Residences. So this is where the Poke Ono the other restaurant that I was talking about, this is where it is situated. Let me see if I can cross here. Oh, this is going to be difficult, but maybe I can. So I did want to show you guys this one. I think some of you may be interested. Obviously, it has this infinite infinite pool which looks really really nice now this one was i think this tower is the last one that was built so this is the newest one and from all of these buildings this is the last one that was uh, that was built and i don't think that there will be more on this side, at least not for now. The government, both the previous and even like in the past, has tried to more and more stop these kind of projects, but I assume that, I assume that, uh, quite frankly, money talks so there, when there is like money in the game, <laughs> everything can happen. And it's not supposed to be like that, but that's politics everywhere, I guess. And that's unfortunate and take it as a criticism or not, but it is what it is.
I'll write on Q, maybe just a small interest. Many of the water sports boats and such, they do um, like they use on uh, over here to, uh, how do you say it? Like to put the boats and such in the water. This is where they get off. Look at this beautiful bird. As I told you, we are close to the bird sanctuary. There's a crab also over there. I don't think you will be able to see it. But this water is actually, like when it rains a lot, the water from the bird sanctuary will pass here. And yes, it does end up in the water. So we should be maybe uh, some, what, five minutes from or stop. Let me go now on this side, on the beach side, because I do believe that we've seen most of the other parts of interest already. It's a Beautiful, beautiful day again here in Aruba, as it usually is. We've had very good weather this year. And the beach, the water seems to always be looking so tempting to go in, to jump in. In case you haven't seen many of my videos or if you are new here to my channel, um, I do have a, an, a video a couple of months back that I made that's Eagle Beach versus Palm Beach, which one I think is the best one. And I do put in my favorite one in there so I do put, put in my favorite one so in case you haven't haven't seen it yet I think you should go and watch that one I'll try to put the link in the description and maybe at the end of this video so be pending for that if you haven't seen it and I've also done like many walks here at Eagle Beach, which is coming up here, and Palm Beach, which is where we came from, where we started this walk. I'm gonna get off these rocks for a bit because it is a little bit difficult to walk here. Now uh, the walkway, the linear park, you can start pretty much from the Holiday Inn Resort. And let's see, let's think. You could definitely walk up until the, say the, uh, what is that? The DV Dutch Village. And it actually continues all the way to the airport, I do believe. So if you are biking, that's also something that you could do. I mean, some people are very much into staying fit and doing their sports activities, running and such. I do hope the audio and everything in this one comes out okay. Because as I told you, this is the first time using this camera and I don't want to have to do this walk a second time. Not because I don't want to, but you know, it's like very sunny and it does drain me because many times I do walk back to my car and some people say, wow, that's a lot of work. And yes it is, but I do love to do these things and to me it's no problem. And I see it as some exercise that I do anyway that in a way these videos do get me out and do something like even walk for once a week if that's the only thing I do for that week. So we're now back on 
the walkway and certainly getting closer and closer to the Eagle Beach. The first hotel resort that we will find on the low rise side is the Amsterdam Manor, which has been in existence for I'd say a good 25 plus years, maybe even 30, I'm not sure. But it's this yellow one. And there, there, there is a construction going on behind it for a new, like, they believe it's like a luxury condominium, also apartments. to this side. And yeah, this is the like the first view of the Eagle Beach. So I've seen it many times, the question of like how far is it, how quickly can you walk this. Uh, there is a timer obviously on the camera. I am not able to read it right now because I don't have my glasses with me, but you can have an idea of how far it is. To me, not far at all. Like, it's certainly walkable. Obviously, if you do it, uh, like, um, if you do it at, say, 10 to 2 p.m., 3 p.m., it's going to be a, a lot more difficult because of the heat but then you get into the water anyway so it's gonna be okay but these are the popular for 40 treats trees that everybody comes and takes photos at very very popular and I've featured them on many of my videos already and those who have asked me like what's the best time to come and take photos here this time i'm around 10 a.m or so and it's definitely the best time the best lighting a lot of people come here for the sunset it's beautiful but you do have the backlit light so the sun will be setting down on that side and so normally you don't want to you don't want to really be doing that, but uh, some people have special cameras and they are able to capture beautiful, beautiful shots too. Anyway, guys, I'm not keeping you any more, any longer today. I do hope that apart from just a beautiful walk, this one was also informative, that you got some information that you didn't get before from me. And let me know if you liked it, share it, subscribe and see you next week guys bye 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 get out <laughs> get out go watch another video bye bye <laughs>